Bonjour et bienvenue à le Gotham Sound Expo 2024. Sorry, I'm, uh, that's, that's it for my French. Uh, anyway, welcome back to the Gotham Sound Expo 2024. I'm here with Christian from uh, BSRF, also known as BSRF. Yes. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Um, thank you for letting me speak my bad French. Uh, no problem. It. My English is not very, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So for people who don't know BSRF, uh, first of all, put, put your questions in the chat for Christian. BSRF is one of the best RF companies uh, on, in the world. Um, I really enjoy your products. And yeah. I'm, as you can tell, I, I use them mostly in a bag. Um, so I, I use most of your smaller products. But uh, for people who are not familiar with BSRF, what, uh, what can you tell us? Well, we design uh, RF products for the audiovisual, and we uh, first uh, focus on uh, RF distribution device. So we have uh, three products and a newcomer, the IS84, uh, and uh, then we have some other stuff, to, um, some tools to help uh, sound professional to uh, work uh, easily with uh, RF. So, um, yes, basically, is that it? Okay, great. So, show, so just give us a quick preview of, or of what these products do. And I, like I said, I'm very excited by this. I think this is one of the best new products Thank that's you. come out in the last year. So the Ace 84 is a combiner and a splitter at the same time. So you can input uh, two pair of antennas and uh, feed uh, four receivers. So there's a pair of antenna in on the front, yes, and then another pair of antenna in on the back. Yes. Wow. Okay. So and then you can select which one you want to use, and you can sum up those the two pair of antennas. Uh huh. And that's all done through the menu on the front. Yes, that's it on mm -hmm. the OLED, and you can also uh, choose uh, two kind of filtering: a wideband filtering or a narrowband filtering mm -hmm. with a tunable central frequency. And what is the the band? pass of the of the filter uh, so for the white band it goes from uh, 400 up to 700 and uh, when you use uh, the narrowband filtering you get uh, the same frequency but a bandwidth of 50 megahertz mm -hmm. in the band got it so for uh, you know I, I recommend when people are in, in high RF environments like New York City Times Square, Empire State Building, filtering. The signal? Yeah, yes. filtering helps a lot. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's important to filter at uh, each step because uh, in the antenna you can uh, saturate your uh, amplifi amplifier and uh, in, the, in the combiner or in the splitter you also have uh, active components so, so you need to take care of it and try if you reduce uh, the bandwidth of course, you will reduce the uh, overloading of the system. Mm -hmm. And that is important. And do each, does each input have power, bias power and... Yes, yeah. you can power your DC feed uh, on each port. You can select which one or deselect, the mm -hmm. one you want. Got it. So in a very small box, you can take four antennas, so yes. two zones, yes. and split it out to... Four, four mm -hmm. receivers. Yeah. Yes, yeah, that's it. So that's the idea. With most these days, each receiver is generally has two receivers in it, or, or four. So conceivably, yes. you could have RF distro for 16 channels. Yes, mm -hmm. potentially, yes. Great. That's it. Um, all right, well, let's just move down the line. So this one is the, the AS60. One, two, two. Uh-huh. Oh, the okay. one, two, two, right? Yes. That's the one, two, two. That's the 64. Six, two, right? yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the idea is the same for the two, those two products. You have uh, one pair of antenna at input. You can uh, add DC feed on each port, and you can uh, monitor the RF peak. It will show you that, that uh, there is too much uh, uh, power um, on the on the link. Finally, mm -hmm. and you can add put. Uh, you can feed six ante six uh, receiver for the IS62, and uh, no, sorry, uh, six uh, three receiver for 62, and uh, six. Receiver for one to two. Uh -huh. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> I make myself clear. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> and wait. So tell me. There's a couple of things I don't recognize here. So what is this? So this uh, is a filter. 
mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's active filtering so you have the filter and then you have the amplifier mm -hmm. so the idea also to protect the amplifier the amplifier and uh, it comes uh, it comes with uh, three four block you have to choose one and it's all it's a uh, 50 megahertz uh, block mm, okay so you would put this near your antenna yes. and it would filter it output it yes it's a uh, lna finally got it with okay. the filter but it's a strong filter it's a helical filter mm -hmm. and it supports up to one watt so this device can be used um i mean actively mm -hmm. for uh, receiving but if there is no power uh, dc power applied to it it will uh, act as a single fi uh, fi in single filter so uh -huh. it can be used also uh, for transmission if you sum up many uh, frequency and then you use uh, an amplifier then you can reduce the band of the noise shape the noise mm. got it and um how so is that new or did i just not know about it no it's not new <laughs> i did not know but you know um uh, in the, uh, the some uh, many years ago uh, the manufacturer decided to open uh, wide uh, the frequency band so uh, mm -hmm. now the people are quite um, an IP of uh, the idea to filter again because uh, they have to uh, protect themselves from, mm. uh, you know, incoming signal, uh, Wi-Fi, LED, etc. Mm -hmm. Digital television. Digital, oh yes. Yeah. It's a great concern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, very quickly, what are these boxes here? So we have uh, here we have um, a combiner. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, you can combine two takes and output on one antenna. Mm -hmm. So the idea is if you you have a uh, to uh, to uh, equip a car, you can put two transmitters mm. with a couple of microphones and then output uh, on the top of the car ah. and uh, get the, the the receiving in another car mm. at the rear. We have here um, uh, tools you that helps you to measure the RF power mm -hmm. and to uh, figure out if you have a problem in your configuration or in your device. And at the Oh yeah. It, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And uh, what is is this box? Because well, I have not seen that. Well, before it's a, it's a future new product. Uh -huh. It's a single uh, link uh, RF over fiber, mm -hmm. and the idea between the, uh, about it is to uh, well reduce the size, and um, to be used on a special events, and also to be used with video because it can be used uh, in fi with 50 ohm or uh, 75 ohm. Oh. So it's wow. another. Oh, is, another that, is that a transmitter? A, a, a uh, it's fiber a transmitter? It's a still, yes, it's still a RF over fiber. Uh -huh. But uh, in France, we got um, we got a contact with um, uh, 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 some people that do um, monitoring remote, mm -hmm. and uh, they need to uh, to uh, receive mm -hmm. the signal over a fiber to reduce the loss. Uh -huh. And uh, that's why uh, we are working on that. Oh, that's great. So. Um, so tell us just briefly. I know that there's a there's a lot of RF over fiber that you uh, that you have, but tell us what you're showing here and and what it does and and I guess why would you do RF over fiber? Okay, to, uh, the main advantage of uh, all the stuff is to uh, use uh, to use the transmission of uh, signal over the fiber, and uh, it's interesting. Because uh, there is a very low loss, it's mm -hmm. very low loss. You have 0 0.5 dB per kilometer, and uh, I there is no, it can't per rest. Per kilometer? Yes. Okay, so to give you guys an idea, a kilometer is like, not a mile, but big. It's a long way. So 0 0.5 dB, where normal coax has, what, 3 dB per 100 or something like that? No, or it's oh, even 6 it's dB per yeah, 100. It's you, you have 0 0.4 uh, dB per uh, meter, so, mm -hmm. you know. It's quite a bit compared. But yes, mm -hmm. it's a small cable. You can achieve better, but you need a very sturdy cable. Mm -hmm. It's very uh, heavy. Mm -hmm. And when you have to deploy it, this one is very, uh, very fast because you have two, two links finally in it. And if you want to do it with a coax, you need uh, two two times the coax and it's mm -hmm. very hard to deploy. So it's very loss, very low loss. It doesn't trust. And uh, today, more and more configuration are, uh, you know, uh, use uh, fiber, monomod fiber. So mm -hmm. it's the future. It's the 
Yeah, yeah absolutely. So just to, to show it off, so this is the transmitter, is that right? Oh, this one is the receiver. This is the receiver, yes. okay. So it transforms the optical signal back to, uh, to electrical. Mm -hmm. You can have some uh, information about uh, the RF power, the optical power, and add some uh, attenuation if needed. Mm. And uh, in the and other side, you have is, 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 this is where you connect your uh, remote antennas and it transforms the signal uh, from electrical to uh, optical. And this is unique because it's two antennas coming into the transmitter, yes, that's going it. over the fiber, and yes. then decoding. Yes, that's so right. So you, you can be far away. Let's say, I've, I've always thought this, but if you get a, a van or a car, yeah. and you are doing your sound, you can run one cable, have your two antennas go into that, and then... Yes, that's true. And it was used on uh, Gladiators 2, uh, sorry. <laughs> Wait, sorry, which one? Gladiators 2. Oh, two. Gladiators 2. Oh, no, that's, that's exciting. So, uh, Gladiator 2. Very cool. Yes, okay. still under production. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's, uh, that's neat. So that potentially they can be, the sound truck can be very far yes. as they move around. That's exciting. Okay. Yes. Um, so, I'm just going to check into our... Uh, our comments. Um, hold on one second. I'm having a hard time reading. Reading is hard. Putting oh, very good. Uh, let's see. Oh, great. So, <laughs> Almanac said uh, BSRF stands for Best Source Regarding Frequencies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course. That's a good one. It's not the other. <laughs> And also asked if they missed the purple power blazer. I can't rewear outfits. I would get raked over the coals on all the social medias. Um, at, at NAB, I had a purple jacket that people liked. Um, all right. Well, listen, if there, are any, if there are no more questions, I just want to say thank you so much. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Uh, for coming to New York and for coming and showing off the RF products. If you are not familiar with BSRF, uh, you know, please, and you're looking for an RF solution, please uh, check them out on our website. We will demo you things. I'm a big, uh, a big believer uh, in their RF products. Um, for this video and more, you can go to gothamsound.tv. You can always email us at info at gothamsound.com if you have any questions, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. Gotham Sound, exposing you to the latest in sound and communications. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>